welcome back to my channel. I am Christy, also known as Organized Mom here on YouTube. And if you are new here, welcome. We are doing a fun fall treat this year called Frocktober. This is a collaboration by Amanda Beal and Lisa from Sutton's Days. And there are tons of different channels involved where we will be bringing you a crock pot or slow cooker recipe every single day for the month of October. It's gonna be so much fun. There's also a private Facebook group that you are all welcome to join where we can um, interact with each other and share more recipes and also join a giveaway every single week in the month of October. So I hope you guys enjoy. Today's recipe um, is from me and I am gonna be sharing the crock pot macaroni and cheese. This is gonna be a really fun, kid-friendly, crowd-pleasing recipe. Super simple, so it doesn't take a lot of ingredients. And I know that my family loves macaroni and cheese. It's awesome to take to potlucks or e even as a main dish as a weeknight family meal. So stick around. Be sure that you head over to Facebook as well because there's gonna be a weekly giveaway involved with this collaboration. Every single week you will have the opportunity to join the giveaway and to enter for a crock pot and other goodies. So head over there, the link will be in the description box for that group. And so let's get started on this crock pot macaroni and cheese. Okay you guys, for this recipe, I have our ingredients laid out here. And we are going to be using about 10 ounces, 10 to 12 ounces of elbow macaroni. So not quite the whole box. We're gonna be using uh, one and a half cups of whole milk. A whole can, this is I believe 12, yep, 12 fluid ounces of evaporated milk. We're going to use a teaspoon of salt. We're also going to use two beaten eggs, a fourth of a cup of melted butter, and then we're also going to shred two blocks of sharp cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna get my uh, grater and we're gonna shred that up and then we will get going. noodles in our boiling water. Don't forget that you probably do want to grate your own cheese from the blocks. Instead of using the pre-shredded cheese, you'll get a much creamier melted cheese that way and overall better flavor. is when you're boiling your macaroni and cheese, you don't want to overboil it. You don't want it to be mushy and you're gonna be putting it in your crock pot so you want it to retain some of that firmness. So what we're gonna do is we're going to boil this macaroni and cheese for about five minutes. The crock pot is gonna to continue to cook that for the next couple of hours and soften those noodles up even more. While the macaroni is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and liberally spray the inside of my crock pot. You want to make sure that you don't skip this step. Um, I'm just gonna be using some of the spray canola oil here. I'm going to liberally sp spray the inside of my crock pot. If you don't do this step, you're gonna have some burned edges around the edge of your macaroni and cheese, um, and it'll stick to the bottom and the sides. One of the things I love about Southern Crock-Pot Macaroni and Cheese is it does kind of use the eggs to kind of make a nice little crust. So sometimes you get a little bit of a crust, but if you're not spraying, you're gonna get some burned edges. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and spray and I'm also going to whisk up my eggs. Now that we have 
draining and cooling a little bit. I'm melting the butter, and then as soon as the butter is melted, we're gonna mix everything together in this bowl and then pour it into the crock pot. So we'll mix our noodles, we're gonna mix our uh, evaporated milk, our whole milk, our melted butter, salt, a little bit of pepper, and our shredded cheese. And we're gonna save about a half a cup to top, put on top of the macaroni once we put it in the crock pot. We have it in our crock pot. We're gonna put it on low and we're gonna cook our macaroni and cheese for two to two and a half hours. You wanna keep an eye on your, your crock pot. They all cook differently. Yours may cook a little faster or may take a little bit longer, but you want to just keep an eye on it so it doesn't over brown around the edges. And we are going to just wait for a couple hours and then we will check back and see what it's looking like. Be sure to check out the description box and visit everybody else that's participating in this collaboration. Be sure to check out Lisa from Sutton's Days. Her recipe is tomorrow. So check her out and be sure to subscribe to some new channels if you're not already subscribed. And we will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.